Jeremy Fowler joining us now live from Buffalo. Jeremy, thank you so much for being with us. I know that you spoke to DeMar Hamlin's agent. What did he tell you about his condition? Well, Molly, his agent, Ron Butler, told me that DeMar Hamlin has received less oxygen in recent hours and days, and that's a good sign because he was on 100% oxygen, so things have improved closer to around 50%. They're closely monitoring his lungs, but overall there is cautious optimism that things are improving. So Butler said they just have to wait and continue to pray. Thanks for being on the show. Uh, since you arrived in Buffalo, how would you describe the atmosphere there? Can you give us a paint a picture in that regard? Yeah, Stephen A., I'll start with the outside. So we've seen two different prayer visuals just to my left outside the stadium, about 150 to 200 Bills fans standing in the rain, outwardly praying for DeMar Hamlin's health and recovery and the power of healing. So it was really powerful stuff. Now, inside the building, I've been talking to people in the organization. Yesterday was rough because they went to a team meeting around noon, players and coaches. A lot of them had no idea what was going on or how he was doing their friend and teammate. And so they were a bit of a mess. And, you know, they're still scared and a bit of a mess. But I'm told that they've gotten recent updates either from the family or from the team that things are, you know, trending a little bit upward. And so they're in better spirits and in a better place today than they were yesterday. Jeremy, of course, this question pales in comparison. But as far as the on the field, the NFL announced yesterday the Bills-Bengals yeah. game would not be resumed this week. What sense do you get? regarding the possibility it could still be played down the road. Yeah, Molly, talking with Bill's people, they're a little bit skeptical right now that this game could be made up because they're all in on New England right now. They're professionals. Even though they're hurting from their teammate, they have to prepare for the New England Patriots mm. on Sunday. That's the schedule. So they're really not thinking about the Bengals, and there's no clean way to do it. Uh, I talked to a league source who deals with scheduling matters who said that Commissioner Roger Goodell will likely exhaust all options. Maybe they could push the wild card games back a few days or push the whole playoffs back a week leading into the bye week of the Super Bowl. But that is a tall task. So right now there's not really a lot of momentum for a shift in the game. Jeremy Fowler with the latest. Jeremy, thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.